Fetterman and Oz covered a lot of ground during the debate. The limited time frame and rapid fire questions didn't always leave a lot of time to separate fact from fiction either. So this morning we are investigating and fact checking claims the candidates made last night. And Tom Dempsey is doing that for us. He's in Washington to help us out. First, let's start with crime, Tom. One of the biggest issues for voters, according to many polls, like Robert mentioned in his report, Fetterman has been accused of being soft on crime. And here's how Fetterman pivoted on that issue. He has no experience. He has never made any attempt to try to address crime during his entire career, except showing up for photo ops here in Philadelphia. So, Tom, let's put that question to you. Is it true that Dr. Oz has done nothing to fight crime? Well, it's important to note, Mitch, Dr. Oz has no experience serving in public office. So he's had no really opportunity to address crime, you know, head on or public safety policy directly. So, again, that's important to note with all this. But, you know, we do get hints about how Dr. Oz might approach crime on his campaign website, saying that he supports police officers and, you know, hopes to provide additional resources to officers around the state. Uh, he also goes on to say that he's opposed to things like cashless bail. So, you know, you said it, crime is is on the minds of many voters uh, this election cycle, but Dr. Oz has, you know, at least somewhat addressed crime, but he doesn't have experience to really necessarily go off of the point to of how he would address it necessarily when he's in office, Mitch. And you just brought that up that he said he would support police when it was Mehmet Oz's turn to reply. He did point out the fraternal order of police in Braddock, Pennsylvania, of which Fetterman was once mayor, endorsed Fetterman. Take a listen. Violence skyrocketed in Braddock. I mean, the town wasn't in a good shape when John got there. It got worse when he was there. People kept leaving. So, of course, you're going to have, uh, you know, all kinds of aberrations. But, John, the okay. city was dangerous under your leadership. So, Tom, what does the data show about Fetterman's time as mayor in Braddock? Was uh, Mehmet Oz correct there? Yeah, well, this is one a little bit easier to address directly. Official data from the FBI does support the claim that major crimes increased under Fetterman's watch as mayor of Braddock. You know, he uh, the first year he was in office, crime actually dropped somewhat in Braddock. But by 2017, when Fetterman was still off, is still in office, major crimes actually reached their peak in Braddock. But uh, you know, it's something of note too that we want to mention with this. Beyond the data, when uh, Fetterman was mayor of Braddock, he did, you know, he was known to stop at crime scenes when he was there. Uh, he hosted gun buyback events and he even organized youth uh, crime prevention programs. So, again, that's a little bit beyond the data. But as far as Oz's claim that major crimes increased under Fetterman's watch of Braddock, that checks out and data does support that claim, Mitch. Okay, that is Tom Dempsey. He is live in Washington, D.C. for us doing some fact checking on the Pennsylvania Senate debate. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.